Then that's scary. Deep fake. I think it's, it, it's with that is scary. It is, it is scary. And yet it's also a way to outlive yourself. Today, for example, you wanted to have a conversation with Shakespeare. You know, what made him write all those plays and what was in his, happening in his life? What if we collect all the information and we can have a Shakespeare bot? Uh, it's sort of interesting in some ways. It's bizarre and macabre in some ways. But I think um, if it is done with permission, obviously it is okay. The technology is moving so fast that it can happen without permission. Exactly. Right. Like, imagine, that's what my concern is. Forget you and me. Forget Shakespeare. Right. Think about people who are right now at a position to influence at mass and they can actually move. Okay. And I'm talking about people, let's say religious gurus. Yes. Political leaders. Yes. Right. They can be deep fakes on some vendetta and they can just come up with some random stuff and they can, you know, circulate that through WhatsApp. Yes. And it can have complications. It will I mean, impact elections. If, if Prime Minister Modi, we have a deep fake. Okay. We have a deep fake of Prime Minister Modi. I can write whatever I want to. Yes. And if I have an evil mind, I would probably would want to use that particular image, voice and his video to do the, all the wrong things in the country. And uh, 2024 elections are here. Right. I am not. I'm fairly.